Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about semen analysis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Semen analysis is the most important test in evaluation of male fertility. The sample for semen analysis should be collected after 2 to 3 days of abstinence. Now let us see about normal semen analysis parameters according to WHO criteria of 2010. The volume of semen should be greater than or equal to 1.5 milliliter. Anything less than this might indicate blockage. The pH should be greater than 7.2. The sperm concentration should be greater than or equal to 15 million per milliliter. The total sperm number should be greater than or equal to 39 million per ejaculate. The progressive motility should be greater than or equal to 32%. Now, what is progressive motility? Progressive motility is the motility of sperm in a straight line or large circle. The total motility should be greater than or equal to 40%. Total motility includes progressive motility and non-progressive motility. Non-progressive motility means the motility of sperms in small or tight circles. The morphology should be greater than or equal to 4% normal morphology and the viability should be greater than or equal to 58% live sperms. During semen analysis, if you find white blood cells in semen, it might indicate epididymitis or prostatitis. If you find round cells that is lymphocytes or immature germ cells, it might indicate defect in spermatogenesis. If any of the parameters in semen analysis is abnormal, we need to repeat the semen analysis. Even on repeat examination, if the parameters are abnormal, you have to refer the male to a urologist or reproductive medicine specialist. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.